Hey everybody and welcome to Bits of Board, where we're talking board games, miniatures, cards and dice. My name is Michael and today we're going to be checking out Kingdom Death Monsters Sunstalker expansion. Now this is one of my most anticipated uh, unboxings because this thing is insane. Huge miniature, um, let's just uh, dive in and get this unboxing underway. Alright, it's good to be opening up another big box expansion. Let's do this. Alright, let's have a good look at that front design. Alright, let's dive in and check this one out. That lets me, that is. Whoa! Okay, plenty of miniature in here. Let's start off. Do we tip it out? Do we tip it out? Let's tip it out. Alright. Try and keep it all on the table. Oh my. Alright. Alright. We've got miniature, we've got cards, we've got gear. Uh, Alright. Ooh, that's new. Starting off, oh, we get to see the monster. Look at him. Wow. He is scary as hell. What else we got? Bunch of new rules here to go over. And here it is. This is the beautiful art that we've come to know and love. Look at those teeth. Demonic and crazy. What is this? So there's a little bit to read going on on these, so a bit of a nice story. Just to build it all up, build into the, the showdown. And here it is. Wow, what else we got? Jeez, there's plenty going on here. Nice bunch of hunt events. Wicked. Hunt events there. It's another intimacy track. Okay, we might be changing up a couple of the rules in the game. Is that what's going on? Sun dipping. Wow, this one is full. How good is this? Jeez, we're not even... Must be over halfway. Beautiful luminescent colours. I think that's been one of my favourite things about this whole game is that the, just the colour choice. makes everything pop and seem that much, wow, <laughs> seem that much crazier, that much more scary. Mm. This definitely looks like it's an expansion that's celebrating the colour in this game. And that's it guys, looks like <laughs> new templates maybe. There we go. Oh, there's a couple of locations here. All right, calm down. So dividers, hooray, that's a good start. We've got Sky Reef Sanctuary. <laughs> oh man. The Sacred Pool. And the Sun. <laughs> okay. Now here we've got our, uh, our punch out cards and it looks like these are gonna Come together to make a new bit of board. Hooray! I don't know what it's going to be doing, but that is mighty different. Cool. Alright guys, let's start off by checking out the gear cards. Let's go ahead and check out this main deck of cards, see what we've got in there.
nice, all right. I think it's down to the main bit. Let's check out this miniature. So this is an absolutely huge expansion and I'm not just talking about the size of the miniature here. Um, the gameplay added with this is just, there is so much going on, uh, including an entirely new take on the Kingdom Death campaign, the original one. Uh, instead of waking up to the Lantern Horde, you're waking up to the Sun Pools and it pushes you on a completely different direction uh, with new endgame goals and everything. Very nice touch indeed, especially if you've played the campaign, you know, once or twice before and need something fresh to keep you uh, involved in the gameplay, this is going to be the one for that. Now, one thing that we've come to expect with our Kingdom Death expansions here is that the story leading into the encounter is both beautifully illustrated in the, uh, in the rule book, but it also it carries with it a bit of weight, so it's not just like some you know, a little story they whipped up for it, it actually adds quite a bit to the Kingdom Death universe, to the, to the world that's been created here. Now, the encounter itself looks like it's going to be very difficult, <laughs> which, you know, what were we expecting in that? He's got some fairly insane solar power abilities. Um, you've even got to keep track of which direction the, the light is shining from, because not only do you have to deal with the giant monster, but the shadows are going to come alive and try and rip you to pieces, which is, why not, you know? It's Kingdom Death. Of course, to help combat all this, we've been granted a whole new range of weapons to, to craft and equip to our characters. Um, given a bunch more fighting art, we're certainly not leveling the playing fields, but it's going to be nice to give our survivors that little foot up in the encounters. There's a bunch of new gear to craft, and some of these weapons, they're actually going to help you out through the settlement events as well. Um, there's new innovations, there's new fighting arts, you're going to be able to customise your characters even more, building, hopefully, uh, the best monster hunting machine that you can. So the big question is, does this expansion add to the game? And hells yes, it does. It adds a bunch of gameplay, a deep, rich storyline, plenty of content, new miniatures, new models, new customizations. It's got the lot and is definitely one of the must-have expansions for the Kingdom Death range. All right, guys, so that's about it for today. Um, if you have any questions or if you want to share some of your experiences with the Sunstalker, chuck it down in the comments below. We've only got a couple of expansions left to go through, so I hope you join me for those. Uh, in the meantime, thank you very much for watching. My name's Michael. This is Bits Aboard. We'll see you next time.